What's up guys, this is Wences. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about creating an epic life on your terms. And today we're gonna talk about how to make consistent progress on your goals, even if you're lazy. Because it's easier said than done. And you hear everywhere people say, just do it. And it seems like so easy because everything we see, let's say in media, is only showing us the success stories, the people who made it overnight. You know, it's never overnight, but it always looks like it. And then we think there's something wrong with me. I'm the only one who can't make it happen. It seems so easy. I just have to do the steps, but I don't do them. Let me tell you one thing. I used to be somebody like this. I definitely am not an A-type personality. I'm not somebody who was consistent. I was always somebody who did the bare minimum and I really disliked doing anything that didn't bring me any joy. So I really thought there was no way I could ever get to this place, but it's possible. And I really want to share with you the biggest aha moment for me. So really stay tuned. Before we get started, I want to remind you, if you want to know more about the concept of creating an epic life on your terms, then definitely watch the webinar or download the poster with the five pillars. And if you want to work with me privately and tackle the topics that are going on in your life specifically, then check out my link on 101 coaching. Both of them you find in the description. So let's talk about it. I think it's very important that we remove any kind of guilt from the situation. You're not alone. You're not the only one. And most of all, you're the majority. It's not that everybody is being consistent consistent with their goals, they're making progress and you're the odd one out or maybe there's like this minority of like 10% of the population who are not able to make it. No, this is the common thing. This is what probably over 90% of people are doing on a consistent basis. This is how we're wired if we don't do anything about it. And it's totally fine. It's supposed to keep us safe. It's supposed to keep us at a status quo. And we have to be the ones who just understand what's going on in our mindset, change it so it feels like second nature nature to ours. I can tell you, I never ever wanted to do anything that was against what I really felt like doing. This was like a big thing. It was kind of like rebellion. I didn't want to do anything that, for example, my father told me to do. So I always had this thing that I kept with me. And up until this point, I remember even at my last job, I really never played by the rules. So for the longest time, I really thought there's no way I can consistently make progress because I just don't feel like doing doing it. I'm only doing the thing that will help me survive, not the thing that will make me thrive. But this little change that I adapted in my overall mindset and my overall goal setting really changed everything for me. And see, it starts with little things like just goal setting altogether. How many of us say this year I'm going to achieve my goals, but have you really set them? Have you written them down? A lot of us don't. And most of us don't because there's absolutely no emotion attached to it. Yeah, it would be great if I would lose five to 10 pounds. Yeah, would be great if I would make a little bit more money. Yeah, it would be great if I had a great relationship. But then reality sets in. And what are you going to do? You're going to keep on doing the same thing over and over again. You're not stepping out of the matrix. You're not stepping out of the rat race. So what made the difference? What was the thing that really changed my life? And that is to actually focus on two main things. The first one being I only focus on progress. I do not focus on perfection and I don't expect me to feel great about it right this instant. See everything we feel right now, we attach those emotions to those things. So if I, for example, wanted to get fit right now, if I've never worked out, there's no way I have any kind of positive emotion towards fitness. There's no way more than that. You probably have a lot of resistance built up, right? So what we got to do is really change our mind to a way where we attach positive emotions to working out. And this is really a process. We're going to talk about this in detail, but before we get there, we have to understand this is how it works. We have to be the one who attach emotions to something that we're doing on a positive basis. And this is not going to happen overnight. The first steps really have to happen out of a rational realization. That's why so many of us really start changing their life only once we're really on the ground, only when our back is really against the wall, because then we have no other choice. But before that, most people, don't make these changes, but you can actually make them and really understand that you're not the exception, that you're not going to be the only one who this doesn't work for. It works for everybody because if you understand this concept, if you once are in it, you'll see that absolutely everybody who works and lives by this really says the same thing just from their perspective. It's really about getting in the flow, getting excited about something and then focusing on the progress, not the thing itself, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing 
thing we have to understand that it's always about you. It's about who you become in the process. This is not a byproduct. It's not to say, oh, okay, in the end, I'm going to be so happy because that made me the person I always wanted to be. And now I'm really satisfied with myself because I pulled through, I did it. And that makes me feel so good. This is not going to happen as the byproduct of you working towards your goals. And very often it sounds like this. It's actually the other way around. It's you improving who you are, you focusing on becoming a person who is consistent, focusing on being a person who stands up for yourself and starts fighting for yourself. And then the goals happen as a side product, because this is the thing that will always stay with you. Goals from time to time, you have them achieved. Other goals you'll never achieve and you see that you failed in that one. But if you're focusing on making that happen, and that is the thing that you attach your emotions to, you will never be able to see that failure or that stepping stone as something positive because this was your end result. But now if your end result is improving yourself, if it's about you feeling better about how you show up in the world, then all of those things are happening for you. They're not happening against you. And this is very, very important. So this is really the thing that changed absolutely everything for me. I woke up one day and I realized I don't like my life anymore like this. And you know, it's been like this forever for a like five years where I was really aware of it, but I didn't know how to change it. And I didn't know why I should actually do something about it. The better job is not going to make me feel good. It's still going to be a job, you know, going out and having more friends. How's that going to make me feel good right now? Because right now, if I go out and if I meet people, I still feel isolated. If I go out and I get a better job, I'm still going to feel like I'm playing a role in somebody else's movie. You know what most of us really regret? It's not fighting for us. That's the thing that makes us feel anxious. That's the thing that makes us feel really sad about our life because we are not stepping up for ourselves. But so, okay, now you know that you're supposed to stand up for yourself, but how do you do that? Well, you start fighting because it's really not about the fact, are you going to achieve that goal? Are you going to be somebody who really loses those 20 pounds? Or are you really somebody who achieves your own business success? Those things are not going to be the thing that will make you feel good about yourself. The thing that's really going to make you feel good about yourself is the fact that you started fighting for yourself, that you said, I love myself enough that I will not stay in the situation. If I do absolutely everything in my power and I can't make it, then I'm still going to be satisfied because I know that I stood up for myself. I valued myself enough to fight for myself. But if you only make it about that one goal or that thing that you're going to achieve, you're going to always be focusing on what you don't have. But the moment you start fighting for yourself, you've already won. And we have to get to a point where we create more of what we already want. So if you focus on something you don't have, you're much more likely to actually resist that because you're always repeating to yourself on autopilot. I'm not having that. If I don't make it, then I'm a failure. Then I didn't actually achieve what I was meant to achieve. How many of us are really scared of really going for that thing? Because what if it doesn't work out? Aren't we the biggest failure ever? Because up until this point, you can say, I never really tried. I didn't have the motivation for it. It really wasn't that important to me. So if you keep telling yourself that, then you don't have to look at the fact we have to start at little places, make little improvements and make them our own. They become part of us and we don't really feel them as something that is a burden, as something that takes willpower. But in order to do that, we have to actually take those things on, make them part of our entire system, of our entire energy, and then we can take on more and more. Imagine yourself as a vessel and through that vessel, you can get, let's say five points of energy through all the time. This is your current state. So if you want to be somebody who can easily get through 10 points or 50 points just as easily as you can do them with the five. What you have to do is first off that you start pulling in a little bit more until that vessel becomes bigger, until that vessel can handle more. Because right now, if you try to push through 50 points through that five point vessel, you're not going to be able to do that. It will be hard and you'll always feel like if I stop now, then everything will fall down. I will not be able to be consistent with that. 
That's what consistency is all about. Understanding that we just take a little bit more and we help build that vessel, make that vessel bigger, make that vessel stronger and not try to push it all through all at once. You're at five points right now. Don't try to push through 10. Yes, you might be able to do it. Maybe some people might be able to do it for five years and then they get to a point where it gets easier and it's okay. But I'm not like that. I don't have that much energy to begin with. I had to always be very careful when it came to how I organize my energy. My growth has been consistent and it has grown incrementally because I didn't try to put too much on my plate. I stay consistent because I say, okay, now I take on one more point and I'm not going to try to push that one point through right now. I'm going to use that point to really build my vessel. I'm going to make it a point that I'll take that energy and I'll be become more somebody who can handle more because it really isn't the fact that you have some super achievers like let's say Beyonce that everybody uses as an example that she can do so much and then you and me we can only do that little maybe it is like this like right now but I know from experience not just with me but with my clients and everybody that I work with I really see it all the time this is a flexible concept you can be somebody who has a five points vessel and who's taking on the bare minimum right now and then you can be somebody who does 50 points always does the bare minimum which is already 50 points and it still makes a huge progress this is really something that you can live by this is not something that's esoteric this is not something that has not been proven this actually works we really start building ourselves up for this and if you're somebody who has let's say a five point vessel and always tries to push through seven you're always gonna feel like that's too much but if you're somebody who has like a five point vessel and then you always say i have to push through seven because five is just too little i would have to admit to myself that i only have a five point vessel and like what does that make me I'm such a loser you start doing this you know what's gonna happen yes you might be actually able to pull through for a while maybe you'll also be able to grow that vessel to then 10 and maybe even 20 but then you're gonna be trying to push through 30 points when right now you can handle 20. the easiest way to actually make real progress that's consistent that doesn't feel like work because I don't want to live a life where I do things that one one day I'm gonna be happy that one day it's gonna be all good that now I have to do things I don't want to do then hopefully one day I'll wake up and everything will be great that's not the life I want to sign up to that's not the life I want to live I want to feel successful now and I do that by first off being completely okay with where I'm at not thinking that this is the best it can be but still being grateful and feeling proud of myself where I'm now then to take on little things that'll make me a better person so I'm more proud of myself because in the end of the day I want to tell myself I'm proud of you because today you fought for yourself today you did one more thing that'll help you in the right direction and it's okay for it not to be some grandiose thing that people can see on the outside but I know it I know that today I woke up and I meditated maybe nobody else will see it but I know I did it I know I started with something like this I know that I went and worked out I know that I wrote two pages on my book I know that I actually focused on personal development and understood what is going on in my mind I really make it a point to do that I make a point to make a little goal and if it's too hard for me to sit down and think about what I want then I'll just sit down for five minutes every day until this becomes easier remember if you're at five points you take on a little bit maybe it's one point maybe it's only half a point but if you really make it a point to grow if your main goal is not pushing that energy through your vessel which happens very often if you focus on achieving a goal if you say I'm only gonna feel successful if I make that happen but if you do it like I do it that you focus on taking on every little thing so you focus on improving that vessel on improving and growing your energy flow you will be able to pull in that much more without even trying because you're just building that vessel you become somebody for whom this is not difficult you know there are people for whom it's difficult to just do things that for you are just basic things and you know there's always somebody who looks at you and thinks how you're able to do all of that and you just feel well it's no big deal we all know what to do it doesn't require big science in most cases when we have goals to do them if it is even something 
like working out, if it's something like eating right, if it's going and building a business. Most of the time, this is not rocket science. It's about being consistent. It's about showing up. But if you only focus on, oh, nobody's really interested in what I have to say, you know what happens? You're always going to be focusing on, I can't pull those seven points through my current energy vessel. But if you focus on, yes, I'm really happy. I'm really satisfied. I'm really proud of myself because today, again, I showed up and I created a video. Or today, I really sat down and I wrote that one page in my book. Today, I really ate in a way where I feel good about myself. That little thing will help you grow that vessel. And if you even look at something like my channel, which is a great representation of where I've been emotionally and mentally in the last five years, you'll see how my energy has just become bigger. The way I talk, the way I show up, this is not just a matter of practice. This really is because I'm able to do that much more now than I was able to do back then. That is the secret to staying consistent and making progress on your goals. If you want to dive deeper on that concept, the next step would be to check out the epic life masterclass if you want some additional material you find the link for the free webinar below as well as the poster on the five pillars of an epic life and if you want to work with me privately and tackle the things that are going on in your life specifically then also check out my link on 101 coaching you find all the information below in the description and if you want to watch a video now that is in line then watch my video on how to simplify your life because one more way to make it easier for you to grow your vessel is to actually declutter everything that's in the way of that that. Like always guys, I wish you a wonderful day, a great week, and I talk to you next time. Bye.